Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Arise Global Changers. With Giovanna. And Patty. So today uh, we are gonna talk about a topic that is um, usually tolerated, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes undetected, or actually avoided, but and on honestly the most common and experienced in our life. Um, and that topic is rejection. Uh, rejection is actually the most common emotional wound we will sustain in our daily lives. Wow. And, and I think that the reason why it's sustained in our daily life, even more so now today, is not, not only do we experience it, you know, through people or whatnot, but we have it at the palm of our hands mm. because we're constantly in this place of social media that's at a high oh, demand wow. yeah and so we're constantly looking and able to feel that that wound of rejection over and over from a picture that we see um places we didn't get invited places that we thought we should have been in and right. no longer were a part of so then we've had this sense of rejection uh, rejection is not just something lightly it's really mm -hmm. something honestly a topic that we try to avoid and I'm, oh, yeah. I'm saying that about experience. Absolutely. You know, we're just like, oh, no. no. But we're uh, not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. So what is what is the definition of rejection? Um, so the definition of rejection is the sense of being cast aside, mm -hmm. thrown away, discarded, <laughs> as defective, or of no use. Wow. So, I mean, wow. just imagine that. Mm -hmm. And this is on a daily basis that we can experience. I love the way that you mentioned social media. You know, yeah. we're posting a great scripture or mm -hmm. a picture mm -hmm. of an event and, and we go on like, oh, no one even cared to like my picture. Right. Or like you mentioned, we're seeing an event or a place that like, I I, sh yeah. I didn't get invited to that mm -hmm. or, or I'm no longer a part of that. And mm -hmm. it, it almost like pierces this part mm -hmm. in us and, and it's this place of rejection. So, yes. so when we talk about the sense of, mm -hmm. and you know, it's part of the definition. It mm -hmm. says the sense of being cast aside. So, sis, can you tell me like, like the sense of, what, it, what does that mean? So as we were talking earlier, and I love because mm -hmm. Patty and I get to just have these moments before we even mm -hmm. come on here. Um, but the sense so in the description or the definition of rejection is sense so we pull mm -hmm. that out and it's the feeling the feeling so it's oh. a feeling yeah that something is the case a way in which an expression or a situation can be interpreted perceived by or a sense such as a false discernment so at times we're observing and it's this feeling that we get Right. So mm -hmm. kind of like going back to this is very practical because it really goes even deeper than this is that you took 20 times to get this selfie right and you feel great finally about it. Right. But just yeah. I always laugh at it because you take 20 times and you still didn't like your selfie, but you're hoping that you got 100 likes. Right. And then you get three. So then you have this sense of like, is something wrong with me? Right. You know, and that's, we can laugh at that, right? Selfies and we take a hundred and we put a filter and Snapchat, what snaps didn't have the right filter for me. But really yeah. it's a serious thing because yeah. you can look on there and you have this sense that you're, it, it's, you're discarded. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm no longer a part of this, this group or they didn't call me, they didn't invite me. I'm the one that's alone here. Mm -hmm. So you have this sense that you're, not worthy to be a part of so then there comes that sting of rejection and it stings wow. you yeah and and i think in part of what you're you said is it's a false discernment yeah mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we could be discerning something and it's really not true mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's really not the truth of the circumstance the situation but rejection really hits the core of our identity. Good. It, mm -hmm. it hits the core of who we are. So I just want to read this. Um, it hits to the very core of our identity. 
and we begin to partner with the lie of the enemy that we are cast aside. Wow. That we are mm -hmm. thrown away, mm -hmm. that we are discarded. Mm -hmm. And and in all honesty, sis, everyone has experienced mm -hmm. some level of rejection. Mm -hmm. Now there are some of us that have um, really deep roots mm -hmm. of wounds and, and deep roots of rejection that we may have experienced. And we entertain it because yes. the sense and the feeling leads to false imaginations. Wow. And I don't know, I don't yeah. know how many out there could relate to me, but my imagination, I really should have been someone like a producer in a movie because like my imagination, to... yeah. And I could sit and play and make this movie up, but really it stemmed from this place of rejection. Yeah. So it, it's important that we understand mm -hmm. how rejection works mm -hmm. and, and how we can apply mm -hmm. the cure to that. So, you know, we ask ourselves like, why does rejection, like, why does it hurt so much? Why does it, it's so wounding? Um, because it actually chips away at, at your mm -hmm. self-esteem. Mm -hmm. You know, it just attacks that self-esteem. Um, the, and and so when it attacks our identity, the core of our identity, then we can withdraw mm -hmm. and we won't live out that purpose that we that God has for us. Because mm -hmm. you know, rejection is one of the the most common yes. um, things that the enemy uses against us to get us not to to get us really to partner with the lie that we are. Mm -hmm. not worthy that we should be discarded that we're mm -hmm. we're not vital right and if we're not careful and to knowing or we're not aware that we actually are looking through the lens of rejection then everything that we see will will perceive it wrong wow. it, it'll be yeah. false right mm -hmm. it'll be false because it, the pain is literally you feel the pain mm -hmm. in your physical body you can feel the pain so we we dismiss it as rejection we dismiss it of where where it came from but rejection actually it, you feel it you feel the wounds you feel the physical pain in your physical body not just an emotional part but it hits your physical body yeah absolutely and, so there's this um article and again Giovanna and I have discussed this yeah. topic and, and we really had the mm -hmm. honor and privilege to, mm -hmm. um, to learn and teach this topic separately. Yes. But what a blessing that the Lord has brought us together that we are doing this together. Yes. It's, I, I'm actually blown away in that because we actually <laughs> both taught on rejection right. at a separate time, which that and alone has a story and maybe one day we can share yeah. even just the feelings of that. Right. Someone always doing it, then someone new coming along and doing it, what feelings it could bring. Right. But only our God that is so good that is in our tomorrow knew that we were gonna be sitting here together wow. teaching rejection together. Right. And and out of different place. And, and rejection right. can look different, feel different, come mm -hmm. from a different, stem from a different place. Right. And so I love that God has given us the opportunity to be able to share with you um, about this because they hit us to our core. Absolutely. And um, and sometimes we're still yes. dealing with the sense mm -hmm. of rejection. Mm -hmm. So this is from an article from Psychology Today mm -hmm. on rejection. So, and it was an article from July of 2013. We know that rejection really hurts, mm -hmm. but this goes beyond mere emotional pain. You just right. said that. Mm -hmm. It's beyond emotions. Mm -hmm. So they did research and the research finds that rejection piggybacks wow. on the physical pain mm -hmm. pathways in the brain. So MRI studies show that the same areas of the brain become activated mm, mm. when we experience rejection as when we experience physical pain. This is why rejection hurts so much. Wow. Neurologically speaking, wow. we can relive and re-experience social pain wow. more 
vividly than we can experience that physical pain. Say that again, because I think someone needs to hear that more than an actual, maybe you fell, cut your knee open, as, as painful as that sounds. Right. The pain of rejection is more vivid. Right. Can you repeat that? Yes. We can relive and re-experience wow. social pain more mm. vividly mm. than physical pain. Wow. So what rejection does, it destabilizes mm. our need to belong. Wow. Wow. It's it so throws good. it all off. Wow. So there's no stability. Mm -hmm. It throws off that need mm -hmm. to belong. Because we're, we're not created to, to do life alone, sis. Right. So if that gets thrown off, this need to belong, and- And, and now we're it, isolating ourselves. Right. We pull ourselves. Because we're perceiving something that's it's not false. true. Mm -hmm. And so when we get rejected, this need becomes destabilized. Wow. And the disconnection we feel mm. adds to our emotional pain. Wow. Wow. So now that vivid pain of that social rejection, we we experience it more vividly than physical pain. Mm. And now we've added on wow. to that destabilization mm -hmm. of that need to belong. Mm -hmm. That's added on top of that wow. pain. Wow. That emotional pain that we're experiencing. Mm. So someone even out there, you could have been you could be experienced migraines. Wow back pain yeah. and you go and check you go to the doctor over and over and nothing's wrong maybe this is something that you could come bring to jesus and ask him to show you is there anything that you're holding on that has to deal with rejection that's actually causing physical pain you know it says i'm mm -hmm. just going to share i felt yeah. like the holy spirit prompted mm -hmm. me you know i've been diagnosed with mm -hmm. fibromyalgia for years wow. um but i believe that God mm. is restoring my body mm. to this place mm. of healing. Yes. But it really was where he showed me that that root, that stem was wow. was really rejection. Wow. So my body physically reacted. Yes, there's all of this emotional mm -hmm. pain and I could vividly mm -hmm. experience the yeah. rejection through my physical body. Wow. And yeah. I, at some point, I, I was at such, in so much pain that I didn't want to live anymore. Mm. I said, mm. Lord, if this is what my life is going to be, then please take me. Wow. Take me because I couldn't I couldn't mm. dress myself. Wow. I couldn't get out of bed. And I said, no, I'm not going to live this way. But he, the Lord showed wow. me it was this true physical pain that I was experiencing. But it was through an event wow. of rejection. Mm. Not just one event of rejection. Yeah but over and over and I, and I continue to relive mm, that. Mm, and mm. so what you said is like yeah. someone out there needs to know that yes. this is, this is real. You, mm -hmm. you could very well be experiencing these physical pains mm -hmm. in your body because of this sense. Again, it's, it's a false sense mm -hmm. of, of rejection. Mm -hmm. Now, have we experienced true, mm -hmm. you know, people really people rejecting us? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 But it's in that place of, mm -hmm. of, of holding onto it and interpreting mm -hmm. that. So I think, so not that I think what I know is that yes, we, you actually will feel rejected. You will be rejected. Right. People will reject you. Mm -hmm. uh, the, there's, you know, we'll go into key concepts or things that, that can cause rejection that we actually feel. But where the false imagination comes from or what we partner with is that the truth is that we're not rejected. Amen. We are beloved daughters. We're Amen. beloved sons. We are chosen. Amen. We are wanted. We're not discarded. But because we partner with that, we, we partner with this false truth that we are mm -hmm. discardable. Because that's, that's, that's what we're re the definition of rejection is. That, yeah. well, obviously, yes, this is true. Or this, the fact is that I was rejected, whether it was by your parents, a f best friend, mm -hmm. leadership, a job, job. Yeah. a job interview, a promotion. I mean, it can go on and on of nobody liking our picture, nobody inviting us, mm -hmm. last person picked on a team. So the, the fact is that we've right. been rejected. But the truth is that we are wanted, Amen. that we are accepted. Because your fact 
and the truth are two different things. Right. And is the truth right. that sets us free. Amen. And can I add what Lisa Turkers said? Yes, absolutely. Oh, I love Lisa Turkers. Um, her book is just, oh, she has a lot of amazing books, so you could look her up. But un, I, I believe this was an on uninvited. Yes, uninvited. It said, she says this, it is not just a complicated emotion. Mm. It is an utter devastation of what we thought was real. Rejection steals the best of who I am by reminding me of the worst that has been said to me. So really the spirit of rejection is an identity theft, thief. Like he comes to steal, that. steal our identity. And I'm going to just say it one yes. more time for somebody out there, yes, like please. hear this. So sometimes we just like, oh, you know, even people could tell us like, stop, just get over it already. Oh my gosh. Get I'm, over it already. We've heard that all of us, like that was so long ago, or it could have been, you know, a day ago, or it could have been your childhood. You're an adult now, get, get over, over it. it. Or you tell yourself like, how many times do I got to deal with this issue over and over? Right. Just get over it already or stop hurting like that. Or who cares what people think? Just live, you know, but the truth is right. this, it's not just a complicated emotion. Wow. It is an utter devastation of what we thought was real. I thought it was real yeah. that I was discardable, that I was unworthy, that I'm unwanted, that I'm unlovable, yeah. Yeah. that I'll never be loved. That, that word like devastation. devastation. Can you read that again? Yes. <laughs> yes, because I feel it to my yes. core. It is just, it is not just a complicated emotion. It is an utter devastation of what we thought was mm. real. So because good. rejection steals the best of who I am by reminding me of what the worst was said to me. Mm. It steals the best of who we are. Yeah, which is beloved. Yeah, beloved son. Mm hmm beloved daughter and I mean scripture talks about that God chose you he chose mm. me he chose my sis and this place of, of of the enemy wanting to come and rob us of our identity yeah that's what rejection mm -hmm. does mm -hmm. the spirit of rejection it robs our true heavenly identity yes because the truth of the matter is no matter what no matter who's with you, who's not with you, hmm. what job you're in, what titles you have at the end of your name, where you choose to fellowship, none of that mm -hmm. defines who you are. Right. None of it. The, the, the divorce, the affair, the drugs, the alcohol, wow. the toxic relationships, none of that defines who we are. Hmm. God says we're beloved no matter what, no matter what. Right. And we just want to bring light to that spirit of rejection that some of us, we avoid. We don't want to feel. It's too painful. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Especially when you feel like you've already been over it. You <laughs> prayed it through. Yeah. I mean, like I, a hard I, prayer. Yeah. You know, like we talk about that ugly cry. Yes. I'm on the ground. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm done with that. Mm -hmm. And then a circumstance or situation or even just one word spoken. Mm, one um, word spoken. One word. Mm -hmm. One word spoken. And you're like, oh, mm -hmm. like, what is that? Yes. And you recognize, oh, that's that spirit mm -hmm. of rejection. And because re rejection has roots to it. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Do you want to say some concepts or some stuff of rejection? Yeah. So... You know, key concepts, you know, yeah, the root, you mentioned mm -hmm. it, root of rejection. So it could be birth is issues. Mm -hmm. So um, isolation, uh, abandonment. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're a product of a botched abortion. Mm -hmm. And you came into this world mm -hmm. because you know why? Because God said you're mm -hmm. supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. That's why. Mm -hmm. But those things, or an adoption, you're, you're uh, you know, I've heard mm -hmm. that, you know, I have family member mm -hmm. that you know was adopted and just this this place of like why didn't my natural parents want me so that rejection is already there from the from the very, very beginning, beginning. Mm -hmm. you know or you hear later in life well 
you shouldn't have even been here. I didn't even want to have you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's rejection. Mm -hmm. You know, and this, it's this place of being abandoned and feeling so um, lonely. Even, even uh, abuse, whether it's physical or sexual abuse. Yeah. You know, uh, abuse, like you're so dumb. You're, you know, why do you keep making mistakes? You're so ugly. You're so fat. You're too skinny. Mm -hmm. And then you sense the sense of rejection. Like I'm not want, I'm not wanted. Like, yeah. you know, you're not good enough. Um, and even just like you said, even the attempt of abortion, like it could stem from there. Yeah. Cause my mom was going to have an abortion mm -hmm. and just not even knowing, but that's a place that that it could that's where it starts. starts yeah and you're not aware of it i'm I mean, not aware of it your baby your yeah. fetus you're in mm -hmm. the womb and you're not aware of this mm -hmm. um and you said some some words mm -hmm. like when you hear um the word stupid mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. at, in those formative years mm -hmm. you're a kid and, yeah. and someone's saying you're so stupid mm -hmm. or maybe that comparison you have siblings yes. mm -hmm. like but you're not the one mm -hmm. that's always being like, oh, you're so great. Why can't you be more like, like this person? Yes. That's rejection. Mm -hmm. And so these mm -hmm. are the key concepts. This mm -hmm. happens to us. Mm -hmm. And and it's important that we begin to recognize yes. it. And so, of course, you, you mentioned it. Mm -hmm. Then with those things that happen, mm -hmm. then here's the feelings. Right. I'm worthless. Mm -hmm. I'm unlovable. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm never going to be wanted. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to be accepted. And I'm I'm just not worthy to be loved. And some of this, because the roots will produce fruit, right? And so oh, yeah. the, the roots that produce fruit and rejection are bad fruit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, you mentioned, and so I'm just going to mention some other yeah. ones, is the fear of failure. That, that stems from the root or the fruit of rejection. Uh -huh. So we are convinced we are incapable of accomplishing anything well or as good as others. So then we compare. So that's that's a part, mm -hmm. that's the fruit of rejection. A willingness, but we'll, but we'll be willing to stay in a job or in a relationship that requires wow. little of us. Because then we feel safe, like, yeah. It doesn't require that much. I don't. I. I don't have to feel that pain of rejection because remember what we said in the beginning. It's a literal. You literally feel it, pain, right? And you, at all costs, we'll avoid that. Absolutely. So if I yeah. feel like, oh, you know, and that always happens. You could feel like, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm over rejection and I'm doing good. I'm just oh, killing yes. it. I am doing good in this area. People are saying, way good job. Cause we need that because we've always felt unworthy. Right. And I'm good job. Right. You're good. And then here comes somebody along your path that does better than you. And you feel like you're discarded. Yeah. You're replaceable. Oh yes. Replaceable. Oh, it's something I always felt like I'm replaceable. No matter how good I try to be at something, mm -hmm. no matter how much I try to say, look at me indirectly, yeah. like yeah. I'm doing good, I'm trying, I'm doing like, this with all yeah. my heart. Yeah, look, look, look what I can do, kind of. And then they're just like, you're replaced. Like, but am I replaced? Yeah. Or was it a lens I was looking through? Mm -hmm. And then I put my running shoes on. Oh yeah, we talked about that. We, we both, you know, yeah. in the spirit, we've got these, you know, awesome looking running shoes. Mm -hmm. you know, cause, in the spirit. Yeah, because we don't. Not in the flesh. No. <laughs> We're smarter but, than that. Yeah. <laughs> we don't run We're in the flesh. We're kidding for all of you runners out there. You yes. guys are doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Running. Go. Run for us. Run for us. Yes. <laughs> but but really, we we do. We we will run from the situation. We'll avoid social gatherings. Absolutely. Because you'll go in. You're like, get a, you do get invited. So some of us cry because you don't get invited. And then some of you get invited to everything. But because we're so fearful of feeling rejected, you're afraid to go into an yeah. area where there's a lot of yeah. people because of the sense, the sense yeah. and the feeling right. that you're not either going to fit in. You're, you don't know who's going to talk to you when you walk in. Wow. Or are you going to be standing alone on the side and everybody everybody's going to think like, oh, you're a loser by yourself in the corner. Nobody was talking to that person. And you have this, you know. Yeah, this, you've already played out the scenario. You, you played it head. out. So you're like, I, I'd rather not even have to deal with that. So I'll stay home. 
yeah and miss out on what you really are longing and need to be at yeah so that's that place of so we talked about the key concepts mm -hmm. and then the feelings and you know even internalizing that mm -hmm. introspection mm -hmm. um, we become self-criticizing wow and then there's the place of reaction that's good yeah i was jumping ahead see because this yes then we begin but, to mm -hmm. re to react. Yes. Um, and you just mentioned it. Now yes. I've been invited mm. and I'm going to isolate now. Mm -hmm. So I pull away. That's so good. But then when you do that, then mm -hmm. we begin to react based mm -hmm. on resentment. Mm -hmm. Then I'm, then I'm resenting. Wow. Wow. And, and then here comes the friend of bitterness mm. and unforgiveness. Wow. Wow. So I, I just, um, this place of, this is real for us. Mm -hmm. and, and we share, again, out of a place, not just of, of this place of knowledge, but out of, experience. Uh, of, a, mm -hmm. out of true woundedness of mm -hmm. experience rejection. Mm -hmm. and, and not just once, not just mm -hmm. twice and mm -hmm. multiple times. Right. But again, you mentioned it mm -hmm. um, so good mm -hmm. that it is, a false discernment. Mm -hmm. This is not our reality. Mm -hmm. This is certainly not your right. heavenly identity. Right. Mm -hmm. That you are not loved and accepted mm -hmm. and chosen. Wow. You are the beloved yes. son. You are yes. the beloved daughter. Yes. And so I just want to read this scripture to you out of Ephesians. So it's Ephesians um, 1 4 through 5. For he chose us in him before the creation mm -hmm. of the world to be holy wow. and blameless in his sight in love he predestined mm -hmm. i'm just going to read that again in love wow you're loved wow in love he predestined us for adoption to sonship through christ jesus mm -hmm. in accordance with his pleasure and will to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely mm. given us in the one he loves. Wow. wow. Chosen, wow. predestined. That's our wow. heavenly identity. Mm. Not, yes, do we experience rejection? Mm. Yes. Yes. Will we probably continue to experience rejection? Yes, we're in this world. And I, and I think, I, I know because this is something I experienced. See, rejection became the lens that I view my life. It, it became my perception and everything. Wow. So when, when I was told I wasn't good enough, that I'm unlovable, I placed that on me. It was, you owned it. I placed yeah. that on me. So when I look in the mirror, mm -hmm. all I see is that I'm unlovable. When, when betrayal mm -hmm. came upon me and it hit me at the core, oh. When I look in the mirror, I kept that betrayal and I, I wore it as a wardrobe. Mm -hmm. So when I look in the mirror, I lost my, my true identity of who God yeah. says I am. Instead, when I look in the mirror, I have this wrong view, this perception of who I am. I'm unworthy. I'm unlovable. I'm discardable. Mm -hmm. I'm obviously something's wrong with me if my parents didn't want me. If the person that I say I love you to betrayed me, I'm I, something is wrong with me. Right. I'm not beautiful enough. I don't look pretty. So I'm constantly needing to fix something on the outer. Yeah. And I'm wearing this weight of wardrobe that was never meant to be put on me. It's not my wardrobe. Betrayal's not my wardrobe. No. Unworthiness, discardable unwanted rejection is not our wardrobe oh, that is so good sis but we do we wear but it we wear it almost it well, becomes a part, part of who of, we yeah. are that's where the false identity yes. comes in that's yes. where the spirit of rejection steals who you really are it's not your heavenly identity and and at times some of us it's layers of wardrobe that oh we got to take off and so yes. you feel like have i dealt with this you probably have but there's another layer that god is so mm -hmm. good he loves you so much. So he loves me. He loves Patty. He loves you. Yeah. That he's not going to leave us in that place of a false identity. And it's time to take off that spirit of rejection, that wardrobe, that false so thing. Good. That is so good. Because I'm going to read Isaiah 41 says, Behold my servant. This is God speaking. Behold my servant. My servant, my daughter, my son, whom I uphold. 
my chosen one and whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him. We can't even see in that lens the God of the universe, the creator. Wow. He delights in me and you. Yeah. He created the mountains, the the <laughs> the beautiful flower. I don't know about you, but scenery, like if I'm driving, oh especially like, yeah. I mean, he's such an amazing creator. The way he paints the sky, yes. the colors, the trees from, from winter to summer to spring to fall. Everything's just so and yeah. beautiful. And God looks at all that and is still not in awe. But when he looks at you. Oh, oh my goodness. When he looks at yeah. me, when he looks at you. He's in awe. He says, and now in that, I'm in awe. I delight right. in that. Yeah. I mean, it's it's so, mm. sometimes we can't even wrap our mind around that. Mm -mm. that how much he delights mm. in each one of us. Because remember, predestined, you were chosen. Mm -hmm. Now, people may not choose you. That's our reality mm -hmm. in the world that we yeah. live in. You know, or they have chosen you and then they say you know what I changed mm -hmm. my mind about you mm -hmm. you know something about you just wasn't good enough I changed my mind about you mm -hmm. but the God of the universe mm -hmm. you just read that scripture mm -hmm. that everything yeah. that we can see in, in mm -hmm. creation and nature we're, we're in all of it right yeah. we're like oh my, my gosh. gosh like yeah you know mm -hmm. it's just the the picture that the lord is mm -hmm. downloading in in my mind is when i was in northern ireland uh -huh. i was like in awe oh, yeah. like i was like this is real i've mm -hmm. seen this only in pictures yeah or in a movie mm -hmm. you know um seeing the the landscape and just the majesticness yes. of mm. and then god sees me wow. and he's mm -hmm. in awe mm -hmm. of me and all my brokenness mm. and all mm. all my junk mm. and all my stuff and he is in awe of me mm. and he delights in you and me and he delights in you mm -hmm. brothers and mm -hmm. sisters what mm -hmm. we're saying is is it's mm. true for our lives and our experience mm -hmm. but yeah. god wants to bring you to mm -hmm. a place of yes. true freedom yes, yes. he wants yes. to break that that false discernment mm -hmm. that lie mm -hmm. that you've been partnering mm -hmm. maybe almost all your life yes that you've been partnering mm -hmm. with and saying yeah I, i'm discardable mm -hmm. i'm i'm trash i'm replaceable i'm not good enough some of you out there are tired tired yeah. of, of feeling the anxiety and the pain and not knowing where it is coming from. And I, I just encourage you to just talk to Jesus about that. Repent, repent for, for partnering with the spirit of rejection. I have to do it all the time, to be honest yeah. with you. It's not a, a one and done. We talk about this as place of, of one and done. Like, okay, I've done it once. And, and here I am again, like yes. how many years later going, oh, what is that? And, and sometimes people don't know what they're doing. They're hurting themselves and they bring it to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been, I had this opportunity. I mean, it's been years, years, like over 20 years that someone had said a comment to me. Mm -hmm. And I held on to that comment that I was sin. Oh my goodness. And I had never done anything. And I remember crying and saying, how is it that I'm sin yet you're, hmm. I didn't understand, but fast forward 20 years, I was able to have this conversation and that person didn't even remember ever saying and said, I, I make amends for that because that is not truth at all. You're wow. actually an amazing woman. Wow. But we, we don't realize that we hold on to words that were spoken to us. Mm -hmm. Words that, that we should have never given power to. And we, we give it and we, we make agreement with it because yeah. we already have that stem of rejection. So we're like, that must be truth. And that is not the truth. No. That is not the truth. So we would just like to walk um, you through, now we call it an activation, mm -hmm. a, a time of, of allowing God yes. to minister to you. Yes. And so what we would like for you to do is just close your eyes mm -hmm. And just listen 
to some of the prompting things that we may say, but just close your eyes mm -hmm. and, and invite Jesus. Yes, yes. Just invite the Lord into your space right now. So close your eyes and invite the Lord into your space. Take a deep breath and just quiet your soul. Oh, yes. As I like to say, Thank you, Jesus. don't worry about the time. Just take a deep breath and allow just this place that you could find that you feel um, just quiet, quiet in your soul. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Know the God of the scripture is your father and your mother. the source of your origin. As father, he is the source of your identity and yes. destiny. Mm -hmm. Repent for receiving and cooperating with the strategy of the enemy. And what that might sound like is just, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for partnering with these lies, this false discernment, this place that I was discardable, that I'm not worthy, that I'm not lovable. Repent for that. Thank you, Lord. And forgive those who have rejected you. Forgive them. Now, someone out there may be getting an image of, of a person and, mm. and it could be um, your father. Mm. You've never had your mm. father. Yeah, maybe they were physically present in the household, but never felt their warmth, their love, their acceptance. And the Lord's asking you today to forgive them for that. Forgive them for that rejection. Mm. As a spouse, you know, maybe Holy Spirit is just saying it. As a spouse, you thought, um, as you said your vows, you took your vows um, very seriously. And as a spouse, you said, till death do us part. And there was infidelity. And that pierced your heart as rejection. Because there's something wrong with me that you would choose someone else. There's something wrong with me. You chose someone else. And the Lord today is saying, forgive them. Forgive them. And it could be a teacher. It could be a sibling. Whomever the Lord is, is placing upon your heart to forgive. Do that today. God, we just ask that the minds would be renewed by the truth of the word of God. The truth of the word of God. That we were chosen before the foundations of this earth. Yes. It was predestined. God chose you. In this place of love, God chose you. Lord, we just seal this time of ministry. God, we pray, Lord, that the hearts would be softened. Yes. God, that you would touch their hearts in such a place that these, these places of rejection, God, even those dark places that you may want to be hiding right now, there's someone mm -hmm. out there that's saying, no, mm -hmm. I'm not, I can't let you in there because it's too painful. But God says, mm -hmm. can you let me in? Yes. Can, can you let me in? Can I, yes. yes. There's uh, 
I just want you to just where you're at mm -hmm. and I'm going where Patty is saying, I want you to picture, mm -hmm. I just want you to picture giving, giving Jesus right now. I know it's so painful, but I want you to picture it, giving him your emotional pain wow. and your physical pain. Yes. Yes. I want you to just picture giving it to him and know that he doesn't just take, but he gives. So there's an exchange in that. And I want you to just ask Jesus to show you what it looks like. Show you what his acceptance looks like in your life. What his love looks like in your life. Because some of us has just been so blinded by rejection. We can't even see the acceptance and the love of Jesus. And if you don't mind, Patty, I'd like to have this bold yeah. declaration. Yeah. And I want to say that so having Jesus help you, Holy Spirit, help him remove that lens, that lens so that you can see Jesus accepts you yes, and that he loves you. And I want you to just, if you're going to have to later rewind this, but I want you to repeat this. Yeah. I want you to just say, Jesus, Jesus, I receive your truth over my life. I receive your truth over my life. You have not rejected me. You have not rejected me. You indeed have called me your own. You indeed have called me your own. You call me your daily delight. You call me your daily delight. And I am enough. And I am enough. Because you say I'm enough. Because you say I'm enough. Yes. Thank you. And we say that declaration boldly and we seal it in yes. the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you guys for letting us share. Thank you for letting us be vulnerable. Yes. Thank you for letting us, thank you for crying with us. And um, thank you for just even letting us go over our time. Yes. Um, I know that this went a little over our time and we just pray that you don't check out. Yeah. Even if you have to keep rewinding that because rejection hurts to yeah. our core. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and um, we just thank you. We, you know, if you want to email us, you can email us. If you want to leave comments below, if you need prayer, um, you, you are not alone. No, you are not alone. We all in some way, some form, some shape have felt ex <laughs> experienced the spirit of rejection. Right. And we're not to do life alone. And so if you need someone to pray with, we are here. Yeah, you can reach us at um, yeah. on our Facebook page. Yes. You can leave us a comment on YouTube. Yes. Arise Global, Global yes. Changers for both Facebook and YouTube. Yes. Um, and if you want to email us, ariseglobalchangers at gmail.com. Yes. But thank you so much yes. for, again, even allowing us to go mm -hmm. over our normal time. Yes. We just felt in our spirit yes. um, that mm -hmm. this was something that, that God really wanted us to teach on mm -hmm. and share. Yes. And even, and again, thank you mm -hmm. for allowing yes. us to be vulnerable. Yes. And share. Yes, please share. Please like. Um, right. make sure to share and, um, for Facebook and YouTube and share this message, share this message. Just ask the Holy Spirit who you can just forward this link to. Right. Um, and so it could be a reminder that we are his daily delight. Thank Amen. you guys. Thanks guys. See you later.